A few blocks from where the Cape Man struck, a musical was playing on Broadway, West Side Story. It was a Polish Romeo and Puerto Rican Juliet, set in a New York City where ethnic hatred surged through neighborhoods and gangs lurked in defense of turf. The film version forever etched the image of the knife-wielding Puerto Rican in the American consciousness. The leading role of Maria went to Natalie Wood, the daughter of Russian immigrants, and her brother Bernardo was played by George Chakiris, the son of Greek immigrants. Only one Puerto Rican was able to snatch a speaking role. Rita Moreno was cast as the spirited Anita. I understood that character with my eyes closed. There was nothing about that character that puzzled me. Even a grease ball's got feel. But when it came to the candy store scene know. where the boys are calling me these terrible names. Bernardo's tramp. Bernardo's pig. Lion spick. Don't do that. Oh, tooth It opened a wound that must have been there that I had forgotten about, that I had willfully forgotten about for years and years and years and years. I learned early, very early on that I was a spick. I was sobbing full out. I couldn't stop. And, you know, nobody knew what was going on. They were all terrified. It was the first time that that kind of racial hatred was depicted in a movie, in a very um, real way. It was also the first time a Puerto Rican actress was nominated for Hollywood's highest honor, the Academy Award. The nominees for best performance by an actress in a supporting role are Judy Garland in Judgment at Nuremberg and Rita Moreno. My heart is in my throat because Judy Garland, I think, is going to win it for Judgment at Nuremberg. May I have the envelope, please? Rita Marino and West Side Star. And when they called my name, the first thing I said to myself was, don't run. And I didn't. I didn't. Of course, I didn't have any speech prepared. I can't believe it! Good Lord! I leave you with that. 